Good morning, and welcome to St. Matthew African Methodist Episcopal Church. I am your pastor today, the Reverend Dr. Kay Porter. So overjoyed and so pleased that you decided to join us this morning. Let's pray. Most precious and loving Father, we thank you for another opportunity to stand behind the sacred desk. Use me, Lord, for your glory. Take out anything that's not like you. And may the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. For you are my rock, you are my redeemer, my savior, and my Lord, the love of my life. To you I give you all the glory, honor, and praise. And in the mighty name of Jesus I pray, amen. Amen. We need to hear from you. We need a word from you. If we don't hear from you, what would we do? Wanting you more each day. Show us your perfect way. Cause there is no other way that we can live. Amen. Our scripture today is coming from Psalms, the 46th chapter, starting at the first verse. And I'm reading from the New International Version of the Bible. God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help and trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the sea, heart of the sea. Though the waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging, there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her. She will not fall. God will help her at break of day. Nations are in uproar. Kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice. The earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see the works of the Lord, the desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes the war cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. The people, the word of God for the people of God, thanks be to God. Amen. So we're going to place emphasis on the 10th verse, which says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. If I were to put a title on this text, it is, Be Still. Be Still. When you hear that, that should just cause some kind of calm and peace to overtake you. Be still. Amen. While scrolling through the channels of my television, I came upon the movie Karate Kid with Jackie Chan and Jaden Smith. I must admit that I have never watched the movie in its entirety, but on this particular day, I did. All week, I have been asking and seeking God for direction on what he would have me to preach to you today, and I heard in my spirit, be still. As I continued to watch the movie, there was a scene where Jaden Smith, known as Dre in the movie, was watching a woman who was doing a certain kung fu movement on a cliff that was attached to a structure that was carved into a mountain. As she performed each movement, she was staring in the eyes 
of a cobra, and both the woman and the snake were moving simultaneously, perfectly in sync with the other. One would think that the woman was mimicking the movements of the snake. Dre turned to Mr. Han, Jackie Chan, say, uh, saying, did you see the woman and the cobra? She and the cobra were like this. And she was copying the cobra. Mr. Han said, Dre, you weren't watching closely enough. It was the cobra that was copying the woman. He had the boy to look into a water, a basin of water, and then he asked him, what do you see? The boy first said, I see me, or my reflection. Mr. Han said, that is correct. He said that the woman was like still water, quiet and calm. In here, pointing to the boy's mind, and in here, pointing to the boy's soul. So the snake was reflecting her actions. And the boy replied, like a mirror. Then the boy said, she controlled a snake by doing nothing? Then Mr. Han looked at the boy very seriously and said, being still and doing nothing are two different things. Beloved, today, God is saying being still and doing nothing are two very different things. Psalms, the 46th chapter, the 4th and the 5th verse says, There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her. She will not fall. God will help her at break of day. God's river is the continual flow of his grace, glory, and power in the midst of his faithful people. This pure life-giving river flows from God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. It flows from the throne of God and constantly refreshes believers, both those on earth and those in heaven. The most significant blessing of this river is that it brings God into the midst of his people. This river places us in perfect alignment with God. And it places our spirits in perfect peace with God's spirit, granting us perfect peace, which can only be obtained when our spirits are at one with God. Psalm 46 and 10 says, Be still and know that I am God. The Hebrew here can also be translated as let go, i.e. to quit holding on to things that keep us from exalting God and giving him his proper place in our lives. Many times it's hard for us to let go of doing the things that we have done for so long. Being still definitely doesn't mean doing nothing. It means finally doing something about the things that have kept us from God. It means finally doing something about the things that have kept us from being all that God created us to be. It means letting go of the things that have hindered us from being God's best. It means letting go of the will of our own will and clinging to God's will. Being still means to trust God and to let go and to stop worrying about the things that we have no control of. The serenity prayer, which is a lovely, lovely prayer. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Being still provides us with the opportunity to hear from God and to hear what he is saying. And God will tell us when it's time to do what he wants us to do. Being still allows us to hear from God and to tune out all the other voices of distraction. Being still helps us to glean the wisdom of God 
that is needed to give sound advice instead of speaking on the things that we really have no knowledge of. Being still keeps us grounded on the things of God instead of being swayed every which way at the control of those who don't know God. And being still sharpens our focus and aligns our vision according to God's will. Hallelujah. Remember, when Jesus had to speak to the wind and the waves, telling them, quiet, be still. And then the wind died down and it was completely calm. In Mark, the fourth chapter and the 39th verse, many times we must speak to our own minds and souls and tell them, be still, quiet. Otherwise, the devil can cause such chaos and havoc within us that we lose control and lose our focus and lose sight of where God is trying to take us. God has given us the authority, hallelujah, to speak to our circumstances and to tell them stop chaos and confusion in the name of Jesus. You no longer live here. My soul and my mind are at peace, hallelujah, and then declare to your spirit that the spirit of God is within me. Hallelujah. And that our spirit is perfectly aligned with God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. The word and words of God are our weapon against the evils of this world that try to come against us and destroy us. We must speak the word of God to every circumstance and to every situation in our lives that we must make it personal According to Psalms 46, starting at verse 1, by saying, my God, or God is my refuge and strength, and ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, I will not fear, hallelujah, though the earth gives way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within me. I will not fall. God will help me at break of day. Declare it, beloved, because it belongs to you. God gives you that, the, that authority to speak that word, to receive that word, to declare that word, to stand on that word and believe that it shall come to pass. Glory to God. Being still and doing nothing are very different things because being still in Jesus involves putting your trust in him. And that's not doing nothing when we give everything to him. And again, we may think that we're doing nothing, but yielding our will to God's will is definitely doing something because we're placing our faith in a God that can do all things. Glory to God. God blessed me to take a mini vacation. And I, all I wanted to do was to go someplace where I could watch the waves of the water crash against the sandy beach and walk upon the shore at peace with just me and God. I was in awe of God's creation and saw the sky meet the water at the horizon. There was no reception for cell phones, and all you could hear was the crashing of the waves against the shore. It was so surreal and peaceful. It was like you could just feel the presence of God all around you. I knew that I had found my happy place. We all have to find our happy place, beloved. The place where we can go to be still, to be still in the presence of God. So we can hear from God, so that we can feel God, so that we can commune and tabernacle with God. Just you and him and he and you. The third verse of one of my favorite hymns entitled Peace be still. 
the third verse of this particular hymn by Mary Baker and Horatio Palmer say, Master, the terror is over. The elements sweetly rest. Earth's sun in the calm like a mirror and heavens within my breast. Linger, O oh blessed Redeemer, leave me alone no more. And with joy I shall make the blessed harbor and rest on the blissful shore. The winds and the waves shall obey my will. Peace be still, peace be still, peace be still. Whether the wrath or the storm tossed sea or demons or men or whatever it be, no water can swallow the ship where lies the master of ocean and sea, earth and skies. They all shall sweetly obey my will. Peace be still, peace be still, peace be still. They all shall sweetly obey my will. Peace, peace, be still. Be still, beloved, and know that I am God. Do you know him today as your Lord and Savior? If you don't, beloved, this is the time to do it. This is the time to receive him as your personal Lord and Savior. Say this prayer with me right now. Father God, I know that I'm a sinner saved by grace. Please come into my heart. I want to make you my Savior. I want to make you my Lord. I need the peace of God in my life. Take full control. Use me for your glory. Have mercy upon me. I receive you today. Come into my heart. Amen. If you said that prayer with me, beloved, then you are now part of the kingdom of God. Praise his holy name and the angels are rejoicing. As the deer panted for the water, so my soul longeth after thee.